In the space world, there's often essentially security through obscurity. And in the cybersecurity world, in the hacker world, we kind of know that security through obscurity never works. Someone will eventually be able to understand what you do. If it works, it's probably intuitive at some level and is thus intuitively exploitable. People often think of satellites as just another type of computer, but in space, and so they think there aren't like novel security problems. The problem with satellites is that they're just not built for any level of security. There's no kind of dark magic in exploiting a satellite. It's just a matter of downloading a few open source or freely available tools and plugging all of the equipment together and figuring out how to point it at a satellite. I used about $300 in home television equipment to intercept sensitive satellite communications. For a criminal attacker who just wants to harm someone and make money, listening to satellite communications is actually a fairly straightforward way to go about it. I'm James Pavor. I'm a PhD student at Oxford University, where I research satellite cybersecurity. And I kind of look at it from a bunch of different angles, but fundamentally I'm a hacker, so I'm interested in attacks and defenses. So we wanted to understand what was happening in these radio signals that were coming from 30,000 kilometers above our heads and whether or not they were being sent in a way that revealed people's data, because these signals cover entire continents, so you never know who's listening. We used a flat panel dish just because it fit on the specific roof we were doing the research with, but it doesn't matter what dish you use. Literally any television satellite dish at your house would be sufficient. Once all of this is hooked up, the next task is to hunt down a satellite and you see kind of a bunch of noise down here at very low levels. And then you have these like distinct humps that are kind of standing out. And those are frequencies on this specific satellite that you might want to listen to. And then that card that we're using, you can convert the radio waves into like bits and bytes, and then you can analyze it just like any internet traffic. We found that very basic commercial home television equipment was sufficient to intercept sensitive satellite communications, affecting everything from individuals visiting the internet in a coffee shop to Fortune 500 companies sending passwords for their internal infrastructure. It raised serious concerns because we know that we're not the only people out there who can do this, and we're fairly certain we're not the only people out there who have done this. I think Hackasad is a really good step towards getting more people who can apply skills that are probably better than mine to these problems. Letting hackers into your system for the sole purpose of having them try to hack it and then reporting the results is a very, very good thing. That's how you get some of these really you know, deep exploits that you probably would have missed otherwise until some nefarious person comes in and tries to you know, exploit it for their own gain. When we're discussing the security of a system, we think about attack vectors. How could an attacker reach our system if they were trying to get in? With the satellite, it's a lot easier to think that there really aren't attack vectors. It's miles and miles up in the sky. How's anyone going to reach it? And because of that logic, a lot of the focus goes into making them low cost, low power, and very reliable. Unfortunately, security tends to disrupt all of these. There will be people who are hacking satellites. And so by having the federal government structure this in a nice, organized, and safe way, we can do it without getting in any trouble, and they can get the results and the understanding that they need from an attacker's perspective. Having the ability to approach something with the mindset of, you know, how could I break this, always helps you understand how a system works better. It's something we all, as a community, have to be thinking about.
as I've gotten involved in space, it started to dawn on me that like, it's not just, you know, people landing on the moon and bouncing around really high, which is definitely one of the coolest things about space. But there's a lot of like really important things that affect the lives of ordinary people. So space is a domain for everyone, even if it often feels like, you know, these billion dollar projects are completely devoid of relationship to everyday life. We haven't really applied many of these lessons that we've gotten really good at dealing with on the ground to the outer space context. The people who want to cause harm to satellites know that they're hackable, but the people who maybe have the skills to help protect satellites aren't necessarily even aware that that's a place they can apply it. Maybe nobody gets inspired to do exactly what I'm doing, but even if there's some kid who's sitting at home being like, it would be really cool to find new security vulnerabilities. If my research can help drive that excitement, then it's probably the best reward from it.